Hi Libra, this is your general in love mid-May reading. So this is through the rest of May through the 31st. Uh, I just wanted to uh, make a quick announcement in case you didn't see my video on uh, my shop opening up. So I'm going to be adding things right now. I'm selling some prints. And there's a video on there that talks about the different paper, the semi-gloss photo paper, what that looks like, and also the archival paper. And so I'm going to be adding some original pieces, of course, and then other things that I want to add, um, hopefully selling some other items. So... But I wanted to start out with prints because they're obviously going to be less expensive than original art. So uh, I kind of I wanted to make it affordable and the prints turned out so beautiful. So I'm really happy with the way they look. So check that out. Go to Moonwater Tarot and just click under shop. Okay. Let me focus here, Libra. I'm going to focus on the most important messages. What are the most important messages for those projects of April? April, May 31st, 2017. The King of Cups. Wow, the world. The Six of Swords. My goodness, look at these major arcana. Another one, the Emperor. And the Eight of Cups. Very interesting. Because most of them, well, this one's not, but most of them are kind of facing like a northeastern direction for me. Although this one's kind of more on, but okay, let me move these and so we can get started. Okay. Okay, Libra. So I want to first start out by pointing out the zodiac signs that I feel are important, which those are Aries. Capricorn. And then, of course, we have the core card of Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio. Okay. Let me just see here. All right. So, I'm getting, first of all, lack of mobility. So, I want to start with that. I feel that somebody is having difficulty in their movement, now, it can be attributed to quite a few things, but one thing is I feel that somebody is having surgery done, and I feel that this is on a disc or the vertebra, or vertebrate, vertebra, uh, but I'm getting as like this could be possibly the neck, but I feel like it's more of the back or the lower back. Now, this I don't feel like is a surprise. This is something that's been planned. It's been ongoing, and I feel like there's chronic pain. The other thing is I am also getting it as possibly like a foot or ankle surgery or possibly leg surgery. Now, I'm getting also a, like up and down, up and down. Somebody is dealing with something on a health level. So this is coming across to me that something is up and then it goes down, up and then it goes down. So I feel like this may be that you are seeing your doctor, cardiologist or something regarding blood pressure. And then it could also be, I feel this is, well, yeah, this is coming. Maybe it's it also I'm getting endocrinologists where it could be sh blood sugar levels that you're going to be uh, having that uh, looked at. So those are, oh, and I just heard this. Okay. I'm getting that there may be some addiction issues. Now, this may not be you, 
Uh, the emperor for me, the number four, speaks of the home. It speaks of family. And so this may some be somebody uh, like a relative. It may be, um, it could even be a friend or somebody that you feel like is family. But feel like it's somebody's somebody close to you. And I'm getting three addictions. I'm getting drinking. I'm getting food and I'm getting smoking. So I feel like somebody is really trying to tackle that or one of those issues. That's how it's coming across to me. Now, I am getting definitely travel. So some of you, I feel, gosh, this is, it's okay. I feel like you're traveling for many different reasons. Uh, one is to buy a house. You may be going to seek out places where you would like to move. For some of you, I feel like this could be a secondary home. So it's an additional home. And I feel like it's living by the sea or being in the mountains where there's like, I see, I feel like it could be water flowing. So this could be like a river or something running through the mountains. I'm also getting a cabin. So some of you may be looking for that. Now, I also feel like somebody is looking at a gated community or gated. I feel like this is privacy. Or, oh, okay. I just heard assisted living. So this may go back to somebody that is a relative. I'm looking at this like this could be a great grandfather or grandfather or fatherly figure, uncle or brother or, uh, but I'm getting like, um, assistance. Uh, so, but like I said, it could also be a female, even though the empress didn't come up. So that's going on for somebody now. I want to get back to when uh, there's a lot going on in terms of this house hunting. So you may be on one end of it. You may be on the other. You may be the one that's actually showing the homes. And I feel like there's increase of uh, home activity, home buying, and so you may be the broker, you may have a real estate license or something like that. So uh, I feel like there's an increase going on. Now, for some of you, I feel that this travel or movement is possibly away from a situation or closing the chapter. Because the world is the very end of the major arcana. So I feel like something there's, you know, you're kind of like um, tying up loose ends regarding a situation. Or it could even be regarding somebody that's a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. I, but I get that there's possibly some reluctancy in closing this chapter or ending this. Now, it could also be that somebody from your past, oh, okay, I just heard this. Somebody from your past may be coming back or returning, or what I had just heard was there may be a trip back home. I get either someone's returning home, or you may be taking a trip back home. In the U.S., you know, this reading is like for May 15th through the 31st. So obviously we have Memorial Day here. So this is making sense with a lot of traveling um, and possibly seeing family members or getting together with family. And that may be also why the emperor is here. But I do get once again back to travel uh, and move um I'm sorry, my, my, the thoughts aren't quite as fluid as I would hope, but I'm getting to make sure that your passport, your visa, student visa, or, uh, driver's license that it has not expired. 
uh, you know, sometimes we forget about those things or so just make sure you don't want to get to the airport uh, and find out, you know, look at your driver's license or something to show, you know, how you have to show, um, show, what do I want to say? An ID, thank you, of who you are before you get on the flight or whatever and it be expired. So just make sure of that. I do feel, though, that some of you are traveling by boat, so I'm getting this as a cruise. And I feel like there's, you know, maybe start and stop, start and stop. So you might be getting off a lot. I'm also getting Viking cruise. So some of you may be going, might be a trip around the world. You may be also somebody I feel like might be sailing around the world. Now, this also is coming across as a competition. So I feel like there could be... Uh, some kind of yachting or sailing competition that some of you might, you know, might be coming up. Sorry, my battery is running low, and I think the fl that's why the flash just went out. So I apologize for that. Okay. The other thing is I want to talk, a little, yeah, definitely about love here. Because I... I feel like, you know, it's so interesting. There's something about finding balance between when I look at this uh, and when I'm looking at the emperor, there may be a choice in love. Okay. Some of you are traveling around the world for love. You may find somebody while you're traveling. Others of you, I feel that you might be looking for love and I feel like this is online. So this person may live clear across the other side of the world. So maybe some of you have met this person recently or and you're finally going to go and see them in person. For some of you, this might be love that's coming in in May. And for some of you, I feel there's a choice. And it could be between a water sign and possibly an Aries or somebody that is... I, yeah, it's coming across as a, a decision. Now, this could also be somebody from your past that you have not yet resolved. And there's a decision to make possibly between a water sign and the emperor. The emperor is, um, you know, to me, I mean, I see these as it sometimes can be quite stern, quite logical, straightforward, whereas the king of cups is more or queen of cups, more in their emotions and kind of more relaxed, laid back. Uh, there's more flexibility where this is more rig rigidity or rigidness, maybe a bit more strict. Uh, so, you know, and maybe that's why I got the, I feel like there's, you're being pulled maybe between what your heart says and feels and maybe what your mind says, or, you know, your emotions are in one place and your thinking and logical side is in a different place. And so there could be being pulled in two different directions and there may be a decision that's, that is going to be made or that you're going to be making a decision and deciding, you know, whether you stay or whether you move on, or maybe you're waiting to hear a message from somebody of whether they're staying in their situation or they're moving on and moving away from the situation with you. So that's something else that I'm getting now. If you are dating online, I do feel like it's important that, you know, you're seeing the person because I'm getting catfishing or fishing. So this fishing could be something that's done online. And I'm talking about not fishing with an F-I. I'm talking P-H. 
So I'm getting catfishing, which is like, just make sure that you see the person like on Skype or FaceTime, especially if they're clear across the other side of the world, um, that you're, you know, you've matched the voice. If you've been talking to them for a while, you match the voice. Uh, with the face and you're not just going in blind, you know, you're, um, you're not, you've never met this person before and you're just taking it a chance, you know, on a whirlwind romance. I feel like there's an importance of, um, seeing them at least, uh, before you go on this trip, if you've never seen them before, that's, that's just the message that I'm getting. So, but there's something, you know, with the emperor here, I feel that I'm getting that there's more structure or possibly setting up boundaries that is coming in for some of you. Maybe some of you have been, you know, more like this and you want to be more kind of structured and secure and uh, set in your ways. But the four does also speak to me of new beginnings. So there's beginnings that are definitely happening. But I feel like there is some kind of trepidation. You know, there's a need. Once again, we've got the swords here and we've got the cups. And I, I feel like there may be some... Um, healing. I feel like there's somebody's feeling abandoned out there. Now, it may not be you, maybe somebody you know, but I feel like uh there's a lack of communication or lack of maybe taking somebody's emotions or feelings into consideration cuz I feel like somebody's walking away or there's turning your back. Now, maybe there's a need to do that. You know, uh, for, for some of you, I feel like you're on one side of the coin and for others, you're on the other side of the coin. So you'll know what is best for you. I feel like it's important that you listen to your intuition. I feel like that's going to be important. I do also am getting that some of you may be traveling on like a spiritual journey. You're not happy where you're at. And there's a need to kind of move away from things that aren't serving you. And I feel like this is coming across in a psychic um, connecting on a deeper spiritual level and increasing your abilities. So this could be like a weekend getaway or a weekend retreat is needed. Um in order for you to start, you know, feeling a bit better. So these are just some messages. There's still a lot more here, but, uh, obviously if this doesn't resonate, if any of the messages have not resonated, watch your moon and a rising sign, uh, please don't forget to check out my website, especially if you want a private reading with me. I do offer uh, also the video questions where you can ask anywhere from one to four questions and also on um, Skype and um, phone. So you can check out my website, moonwatertarot.com and also check out my shop. Don't forget to do that, please. So, um, and so I'll be adding more things as I stated. Anyway, if you would like a private reading, be happy to do one for you and take good care of yourself. I will talk to you soon, Libra. All right, bye.